Hi, this is Steve from London Chart Plotters. This is the third video in the set that I'm doing. Um, this is just going to do how to do a route um, on Marine Navigator because we've been asked quite a lot. So the tablet's on sleep. One press of the power button, unlock the screen. Uh, open Marine Navigator. Okay, now I really need the tablet to lock on for this to be helpful, um, and I am indoors in a ground floor flat, but with a bit of a luck it will. But to do the route initially, you have to change that to a hand, because you want control of the screen. And I'm going to do a quick easy one, from the, the entrance to the Thames to Clacton. I'll get rid of the, the routes already on there. We'll do one from the Thames um, to Clapton on Sea. So I'm going to start from the beginning of the, the Thames. So we go waypoint, uh, no, routes, a new one. Okay, now you see there's a red crosshairs with the position. If you just tap the screen, it will drop a mark. And go, you want to go safely, we're still all right. Yeah. I think I'll drop one. I'll drop one in the middle of there. And there's Gunfleet Sands. Uh, we want to be careful of those. So I'm going to go up there. And then there. Try and keep it blue, but then I'll be nice and safe. There. And it's a straight run to the Clacton Pier. There. Okay. I'm, well, I, I can see if I'm happy with that or not. Because what I can do, I can zoom in. And I can move that one a little bit if I wanted to. It doesn't look too bad. You can do it on a larger scale if you want, but no, that'll do. Um, so now we go to Roots and we save it. And we save it as Thames to Clacton. Save. Okay. Now we go to Roots and we'll close it. It's gone. Don't want it on the screen all the time, do we? Um, now the tablet has locked on which is good I hope it holds it we can go when we want to go on the route we go to the routes we go to open routes Thames to Clacton oh there it is whatever scale we're on we're there okay that's looking good and we want to go there so again we go to routes and we'll go start follow oh look this has appeared on a bearing of 99 degree, 90 degrees, um, 79 nautical miles away from us, is our start point, which is there. So this is our 90 degrees, because we didn't do that in the route. I've assumed I started from there. But that will give me a countdown to that marker. And then, if you sweep this, you get all of the waypoints. Now, as soon as you start moving, your ETA will come up and the ETAs will all be there. If you go faster, they'll wind up. If you go slower or stop, they'll go blank because it's thinking we're stopped, you see. Um, and that's basically it. Oh, you can go there and go roots and you can reverse it. Boom. All of a sudden now, it wants me to go there rather than there. Um, then you can go, you can get rid of all of those if you want. That goes down there. You can sweep it and it gives you a lot. Now we've just lost a lock, which doesn't matter. Uh, we'll go to Roots now. And we'll go Stop Follow. And Roots again. Now it will let us close. Do you want to change save you to the route? No. 
and now press the hand. I will just let you see if the root's still there. Roots open. Yep. She's there again. If we ever wanted it again. Roots. You can edit it. In which case you can go on any one and you can move it um, or delete it completely if you wanted. But when you finish, you go to Roots again and you close it. It's locked us back onto the Thames there, look, see? And that is how you do a route. Thank you very much.